I know you're saying, well, why don't you become an attorney, Paul? You know, having been a failure as a financial consultant, and I was a failure as a businessman. I owned two different businesses, James, Thomas King, and Johan Financial Services. I was a commodity trading advisor. Uh, full sale systems. Yes, I was a failure. <coughs> now, at 48, yes, it's possible that I could still go to school. Yes, you could. Mm -hmm. I have a bachelor's degree in organizational management, and I could apply to law schools throughout the United States thinking, well, I might have some success in my midlife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that there are law schools that would just love to have me as a student as I'm sitting there mm -hmm. being educated by America's best attorneys. <laughs> but there's a problem that I have that a lot of people don't have. <laughs> See the state issued identification? Yeah. Um, it has the wrong height. Yes. Mm -hmm. It has the wrong um the wrong weight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as much as I'd like to lose 30 pounds, I don't think that's a reality. Yes, he does. Now, yesterday, mm -hmm. I was looking at the DD-369 right now. Mm -hmm. And it looks to me that for me, yes, to go to law school, mm -hmm. I'd have to get student loans, <clears throat> if you would. And then I'd probably have to work full time. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, being one of those poor American citizens of the United States of America, I think mm -hmm, that you've intentionally obstructing me from participating in the legal profession. <laughs> now, let's say <laughs> it is treason. <laughs> Yesterday, I put on Facebook, yes, the requirements for enlisted in the uh, National Guard, yes, the Guard Reserve, yes, and then this, the regular Army, the Army, yeah, and it looks like that the Army can know about misprison of felony or misprison of treason because they have no obligation to make sure that every citizen has the correct criminal record, yes, it does it, and the correct court record, poop, <laughs> now, this idea of me becoming an attorney, yes, because I'm over the age of 42, yes, and they have a certain formula that they use for those that want to go into the Army, yes, it's like 20 years to retirement, but you have to be under the age of 62, and uh, as long as you're uh, under the age of 42, and you take a test, and they do background checks, so on and so forth, so on and so forth, <laughs> but obstructing a person from actually getting a law degree, yes, mm-hmm, because of the use of forgery and fraud. <coughs> now, there must be some constitutional right to be able to study the law. Yes. To join a bar association. <laughs> to be a judge or justice of this great nation right now. <laughs> now, I asked for all the DD-369s. Yes. For every person that had volunteered to enlist in the United States Army. Yes. National Guard or the Reserve Guard. Yes. For the last 40 years. <laughs> Now, I think that there are some police departments that said, well, as long as you go in the Army, we'll remove this from your record. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then after you're in, uh, well, you're the Army's problem. You're not my problem anymore. <coughs> See, I wanted to go back through all of those that had enlisted in the military for the last 40 years <laughs> and then look at their actual court record. Yes. And look at their criminal record. <laughs> because before they went in, you thought you just kind of don't. Get the motherfucker right now.